Are hey, you Dan? Dan the man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where your store located at? I work out of, out of my house in uh, Big Town. Okay. There's a store in Hamden that has about 60 cents. So the Messy Buddha Boutique is right on the avenue in Hamden. It's right next to Dory. How many, how many uh, different flavors you have you went up to? I've got over a hundred. I don't really care. I know it's a big thing. I just don't care. You know, if it will make him happy, I guess. I can just be high the entire time. <laughs> you know, everyone else has already seen it, so. I've made a lot of weed jokes today. I don't know if that's allowed out here outside, but uh, don't do drugs. I really wish I could get back all the money that I have spent on weed and just buy like a lot of weed with it. That would be ideal. I took a lift the other day and in a gay Uber and uh, I got a text message from Lyft informing me that my driver was dead and if I need to contact them I should text and not call. And I was like, this is already a five-star ride right here. Not gonna talk to me, not gonna blast the Jesus music like I was ready for a nice, relaxing ride to work. Shows up, she's not deaf at all, all right? She's got two GPS devices going, she's got Jesus talk radio going, and she's talking to me, and I'm like, I can't be mad at somebody for not in death, you know, <laughs> but I was a little disappointed, and I'm like, am I a bad person right now, like, to be disappointed, but no, she clearly, she just didn't want anybody to talk to her, so she would have extended that courtesy to me, but no, we're halfway down the highway, and she's like, you know what the trouble with this job is, when you really have to go to the bathroom. Bitch, you're supposed to be deaf, all right? You shouldn't be having this conversation. Not actually deaf. 